How's it going guys? Cracked Rack here, and today we're gonna be talking about our favorite, Dubstep Boy Repzilla. Now, if you don't know, a few days ago, I made a video about Dubstep Boy, where I essentially called out some of his more recent bullshit. The video had some pretty good points about why Repzilla is a toxic content creator on YouTube, and within only a few hours of this video's release, Repzilla actually responded to the video on Twitter. I just heard someone get mad at me, a commentary channel, for making videos on trending topics for you, subscribers who want that content, while they hypocritically did the same. LOL. Make it make sense. Drop the name. Not worth the mention. Congratulations, Repzilla, for the most fucking retarded response to a criticism video I've ever seen in my life. It's almost as if you somehow watched the video through the ears of a deaf person, because you completely missed the point of that video. First off, that was literally like 1 50th of the points made in that video. If you want to falsely disregard that one measly point, fine, but why not talk about the <clears throat> toxic perpetuation of conspiracies regarding people's lives for monetary gain on a daily basis? Or what about the gross harassment tactics you use to butt your head into the personal lives of people you want to make videos on? Or what about the hilariously obnoxious fact that you are essentially the content offspring of Keemstar? I could go on and on for hours with good reasons as to why you suck, but that's not the point of this video necessarily. It's just really obnoxious to me how up their own ass some of these drama content creators are, to where you could literally spell out reasons they're in the wrong, and they will somehow find a way to gaslight you and make them Ugh and make themselves seem in the right. One of the most manipulative things I hate about Repzilla is his use of this emoji he made up called Positivity Turtle. It's essentially like Leafy's hiss that retards used to spam in comment sections long ago, except the purpose of this turtle is to apparently send positive vibes someone's way when they're being negative, quote unquote. Repzilla abuses the fuck out of this. Anytime any legitimate criticism is thrown his way, Repzilla encourages the spam of this emoji, which apparently just totally negates criticism, guys. Have an issue with something Repzilla did? Look at this stupid fucking turtle emoji! You're negative, we're positive, turtle emoji! Shut the fuck up. It's really just why I don't like Repzilla in general. He's just so manipulative and his persona is so transparent to people like me and Primink, whose video I heavily recommend you watch, by the way. I mean, this is a guy who is legitimate so up his own ass, he retweets jokes that are at his expense because he doesn't understand that the joke is aimed at him. Like look at this tweet from some ordinary gamers. Most T channels on YouTube are total fucking jokes. I think we can all agree with this, but I wonder who retweeted the- Oh, Repzilla did. Wait, what? That's like Keemstar retweeting a tweet that talks about how evil people who make false accusations are. Oh, and going back to Repzilla's tweet about me, I find it kind of funny that he acts like I'm so below him. Even though my most popular video has more views than anything he's ever put out in his entire life. I mean, I know I'm a small YouTuber at this point, but I still find it just so ridiculous for him to act this high and mighty. Also, is it really not worth the mention, Repzilla? Because I see you on Twitter mentioning it. This really just clearly shows to me that my video did absolutely get to him because nobody who is actually secure in themselves has to make a tweet about how cool they are when someone criticizes them. Plus, he responded to my video literally a few hours after it came out, and my video only had like a few hundred views. He had to search that shit out intentionally. Also, you want to talk hypocrisy? How about complaining that people criticizing you are harassing you when your entire life is legitimately just making harassment conspiracy videos about celebrities. I almost legitimately expect Repzilla to make a video being like, Guys, Cracked Rag has been harassing me and I don't know why. Like, guys, my girlfriend drove off a cliff and died of fiery death yesterday. Like, why are you harassing me? By telling me I'm wrong. Cut it out. Positivity turtle. Anyway, the very last thing I'll talk about in this video is, no, it's not hypocritical to call Repzilla out for what he does. 
as he states in his tweet. I stated that it's wrong to make a living off of TMZ-level celebrity gossip drama like the shit Rebzilla spews out hours of weekly. I don't and never have done this. My videos are all commentary videos giving my opinions on things I'm very passionate about, such as old tragedies that happened decades ago, rape cases with people involved that I am friends with, in videos about how I feel about certain people and things. I hardly profit off of my videos, I do it for the passion, and I don't care about views at all. You, Repzilla, make extremely long pandering videos regurgitating dangerous and embarrassing drama stories about celebrities every few days. And you profit off of all of this. And you don't care who you hurt or how you hurt them as evidenced by prior videos made about you. Again, go check out the Primink video Please, you just care about making yourself look good while getting money. And you make me sick to my stomach.